Well, hello there. This is uh, Harry Pitts with Nerd Life Gaming. Uh, this is Out of Ore, and today we're going to be testing the explosives on here. Uh, what we're going to do, let's grab some of these out of here. We'll grab all of these ones, and we'll leave the plowshare. It's for the end of the video. You'll you'll see why I saved it for last. All right, so I've set up little platforms for each of our explosive types. Yeah, just go ahead and set one of each up on these. We're just testing the power of each one to just kind of see what's what. We'll blast these ones and then we'll we'll set up. Uh, actually, I think we got all of them on here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and blast these. Alright, now we're going to remove these platforms, take a look at the difference in hole size, or crater size, that, it, that they left. Okay, so this one was the Dramite, right here. That's a pretty small hole. Uh, the next one over was RDX, that's pretty significantly sized. Third one was TNT, and that's very large. Uh, the third one was Diamond X, and that's larger than the dyna, uh, than the dyna, uh, than the TNT. And then we had Amphro here, which is tiny. So what we're going to look at now, just going to set some Amphro up right here. Set one up right there. And we're gonna blow it and see if it if it'll get rid of that hill or if it'll just leave a little dent. Let's see. Oh, it got rid of the top of, of that hill. Alright, and we'll put Dramite on. Find a hill that's about the same size. Here we go. Right down here. Right there, in between the the two little things there, and we'll go. We'll change our camera view here, and let's see. That annihilated that whole thing. So, by comparison, Dremite is stronger than Ampho. All right, just from that little experiment. All right, now we're gonna do something a little different. We're going to come over here and see. Space those out evenly. Three of them just like that. This is Dremite. And fire in the hole. Alright, so that, that cleared a, you know, a small section in. Not bad. All right, now we'll come down here, and we're going to test it against the, uh, we'll go RDX for the next one. Go evenly spaced, three of them, just like before, and fire in the hole. Bit of a larger hole. Uh, it, it definitely cut back further and went pretty deep. Alright, so we know RDX is stronger than Dremite. Now we'll say RDX again right here. Blow that and uh, then we'll test it against uh, Dynamax. 
All right, so same res same exact result as before, same size spot. And so it's a pretty good telltale. Now we're going to set Diamond X up. One, two, and move that right there. Three, evenly spaced. And fire in the hole. All right, so pretty equal. Just the uh, the RDX went way deeper, but as far as uh, the cutting, you know, doing the cut right here, it uh, cut the same length, just not the same height. And so RDX is way stronger than the Diamond X, so we'll test it against TNT. We'll go up a level and. We'll say RDX versus TNT. We'll do our RDX here. One, two, three. Fire in the hole. All right, so good size crater. And it, it, it went, you know, quite a ways. And so we'll say TNT for this test. And say one, two, three, just like that. We'll back up and fire in the hole. All right, so it went down a ways, and look at how high it pushed it up. I mean, that that's pretty good. Whereas with this one, it didn't quite push as near as high. So, uh, TNT's a bit stronger than the TNT. All right, so now we, we have a toughest competitor. We have TNT, and we're going to rest of them into here just to get those out of the way. Alright, so using TNT, we're going to see how much TNT it takes to get down to pay dirt. Alright, we're going to start on the lowest shelf right here. Well, actually, we'll go up a shelf because it's already down to pay dirt. Okay, so what we'll do... Put it all close together. We're going to do a big explosion here. And just clear this overburden out. Big boom, should take off that whole corner. We'll see though. Three, two, one, fire in the hole. Uh, 15, let's see, did we hit pay? It's like pay dirt right there. Yep, we hit pay. Okay, now we're going to test that. We're going to put 77 sticks of TNT. We're going to do a big explosion. We're going to come all the way up here to the top, the top shelf, and just cover this whole platform. I want this to be one big crater. No rhyme, no reason, I'm just placing it. Okay, there's 77 sticks of TNT. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, fire in the hole. We'll judge the size of this crater against one plowshare. If you're wondering what a plowshare is, I don't even know, but we're going to test it. Alright, so, 
Yeah, that, that was a decent sized crater. I'm pretty sure that we're pay dirt at this level. Let's check it. Yep. I, oh, nope, that's just dirt. It's not pay dirt. But we do have pay dirt here. No, we don't. Okay. Here we do go. Yep, right there. So we did hit pay dirt with that. But we're going to check this and just see what a plowshare does. Because I'm not even sure. We're going to put that right there. We're going to walk this over, way over here. Set it up. Yeah, right here should do okay. Of course, I imagine that this would do way better underground. Whoa, that looks pretty hardcore. Uh, yeah, I think we need to stand way back, y'all. See that symbol? So, yeah, we're going to run all the way back to our storage shed. And see exactly what a plowshare does. Here we go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Fire in the hole. Oh my God. What have I done? Yeah, that that uh, shouldn't be used for mining. All right, now let's go look at our, our hole and see if we're down to pay dirt. Pretty sure we are. Yeah, okay. So plowshare is definitely a fast way to get down to to pay dirt and we're gonna actually dig down so we can get out. We're actually gonna just dig us a road that goes down into here. That looks pretty steep. We should be fine. All right, so down here at the base of the, the core, we are on pay dirt that cleared all of the, the uh, overburden and put us straight into just a bowl of pay dirt. Very quick, very easy, but it also removed a whole lot of pay dirt. Let's see here. This is pay dirt as well. It absolutely is. So, we did find the fastest way to pay dirt, but it does kind of remove a lot of pay dirt as well. And so that might not be the best way to hit pay. So, yeah, the best way is just to, you know, blast a little bit of it and then pick it off. And so... Using explosives, very handy. It's always good to test and know exactly which, which explosive is right for your job. And so if this, uh, my little experiments here have helped you in any way, shape, or form, tell me about it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, uh, click, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely do more of this content. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day.